Your doctor hands you that little white pill and says it will help control your blood sugar. Metformin, the world's most prescribed diabetes medication. But what if I told you that there is more to this story? What if I told you that this is a miracle drug that comes with consequences nobody's talking about? I'm about to share what happens when you take metformin for years. Information that could change everything about how you manage your health. The pharmaceutical industry does not want you asking questions. Your doctor might not even know the full story. The reality check is this. Metformin is prescribed to nearly every newly diagnosed type 2 diabetic in the world. If it's not prescribed, insurance will bug your doctor. Why are you not prescribing metformin? It is cheap. It is effective for most people, and doctors send it out like candy. But here's the thing. They don't tell you that some people tolerate it well, and the majority struggle with the side effects. They're told to just deal with it. Let me be clear with this. I'm not saying metformin does not work. It does. It activates something called AMP kinase in your cells, helping your body process glucose better. It can even improve your cholesterol levels and gut bacteria. But at what cost, right? The side effects that nobody talks about. Let's start with the obvious. The gastrointestinal nightmare, diarrhea, bloating, abdominal pain, gas. Most doctors will tell you, well, these side effects disappear with time. But what if they don't? What if you are one of the countless patients still running to the bathroom five years into going nowhere? That's just the beginning. Metformin also can start giving symptoms years later. Serious B12 deficiencies is not just a minor issue. B12 is so critical for your nerves and for your red cells. When it drops, you might experience fatigue, brain fog, or even nerve damage that feels like tingling in your hands and, and in your feet. The cruel irony? Well, these symptoms mimic diabetic neuropathy. So you and your doctor might blame your diabetes when it is actually your medication causing the problem. And now let's talk about what happens after five years on metformin or more. Your kidneys, well, take a hit. Metformin is cleared through your kidneys. And over time, if your kidney function declines, which happens naturally with age, Metformin can accumulate in your system, potentially causing a rare but serious condition called lactic acidosis. Your liver is not immune either. Studies suggest that the prolonged metformin use may stress your liver, especially if you already have liver issues or drink alcohol regularly. And remember, those nerve problems I had mentioned already, like peripheral neuropathy, becomes a double threat caused by both diabetes and potentially worsened by long-term metformin use through B12 depletion. Now, here's the medical systems that we have in the U.S. and it's a blind spot. And that frustrates me a lot about our healthcare system. When patients on metformin for years suddenly develop diarrhea or fatigue, doctors rarely consider the medication as the culprit. I have seen this so many times. You have been on this for years without problems, they say, looking elsewhere for answers. But for later onset side effects, they're real. Your body changes, your tolerance changes, and sometimes the medication that seemed fine for years suddenly become a problem. The solution you deserve is that, first, don't panic. Don't stop your medication without consulting with your doctor, of course, but do advocate for yourself. If you have been on metformin for years, request a B12 test. Consider supplementing with 5,000 micrograms of B12 a few times weekly, preferably in liquid form for better absorption. And for kidney protection, use probiotics like 100 billion daily can help with the gut health, which is directly related to your kidney health. Alpha lipoic acid is one of the greatest antioxidant for diabetics and benfetiamine. They provide antioxidant benefits that will protect your kidneys from the constant oxidative stress. And for liver, consider using milk thistle around 1,000 milligram daily that has been used for centuries to protect and detoxify the liver. It's Active compounds like silymarin has powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. And the alternatives to metformin is, for example, berberine, a plant compound, works remarkably similar to metformin. It activates the same AMP kinase pathway, improves insulin sensitivity, and even helps with cholesterol, but with fewer side effects. Even better is dehydroberberine, a more bioavailable form that causes almost no gastrointestinal distress. And the progression goes like from metformin, the most side effect, you can say, and then metformin with fewer side effects and dehydroberberine, almost no side effects. Some patients find success with a combination approach too, like to reduce their metformin dosage, they will add berberine or dehydroberberine 
And studies show that these combinations can actually work synergistically, giving you the best of both worlds. And some practical steps for you. If you're currently struggling with metformin, the metformin side effects, talk to your doctor about switching to extended release metformin. I mean, it has four times fewer gastrointestinal side effects than metformin, regular metformin. And always take metformin with food, never on empty stomach. If you are just starting, begin with like a 500 milligram with dinner only. And after a week, if you're tolerating it well, you might increase it twice daily with meals. And the truth is, you have options. Metformin is not your only path forward. Whether you choose to stay on it with better monitoring or switching to extended release or incorporate some supplements like berberine or dehydroberberine or adding some kidney support and liver support supplements, you deserve to feel good while managing your blood sugar. Don't live in misery. Don't accept suffering as the price of health. And question research. Advocate for yourself. Your body is sending you signals. Listen to them. The pharmaceutical industry might not prioritize your comfort, but you can. The healthcare system might have blind spots, but you can eliminate them. Your journey to better health does not have to be paved with side effects you're just told to just live with. Take control of your health today, please, because managing diabetes should not mean sacrificing your life. Please leave a comment below. Please share this video for us, and I'll see you in the next video.